Ate and Kuya, Family Acceptance in the Philippines. If you visited the Philippines as part of an Australian-Filipino relationship, no doubt someone has called you Kuya, or Ate if you're a girl. You've probably asked about it and had it explained to you, but there's a bit more to it, and it's actually quite charming and quite reminiscent of old Australian ways in some ways. There are societies that are fairly closed. Um, I haven't actually lived anywhere but Australia or the Philippines, so I couldn't tell you the intricacies of other countries for comparison, as I can with Australian and Filipino societies. But I think we know instinctively that the Philippines is just that bit friendlier and more inclusive than many others, where people are not valued quite as much as they are here. Now, relating to each other, Philippines and also Old Australian. I sometimes find myself called out a bit when I speak of Australia and Australians and how Australians wouldn't do this about various things. But in reality, I can't really speak for all sectors of Australian society in this day and age, particularly in relation to my own day and particularly my age. I'm 51 years old, uh, not what one would call old, but at the age where I actually find myself saying in my day, uh, or where I tell my kids about something I did at their age and realise that was, was 40 years ago. Um, now, they think I'm old, of course. <laughs> but fortunately, whilst growing old is compulsory, growing up is still optional. Um, I've also lived in rural Queensland for 18 years before moving here. Um, and old-fashioned Aussie... Oh, try again. And uh, old-fashioned Aussie values are still alive and well in the bush, and long may this remain the case. But the point I'm getting to, another sign of age, uh, is that in my day, kids used to refer to their elders as auntie and uncle, and never by their first name. Would have copped a clip behind the ear if you did otherwise. Now here they would call each other Arte and Kuya, and sometimes Tita, which means auntie, or Tito, which means uncle, uh, Lola for grandma, or Lolo for granddad, a few other titles. Now they're respectful titles but there's a bit more to it than just matters of respect and I guess there was in Australia too although probably not to quite the same extent that it is here. So please read on or I'm recording this please keep listening I should say. Um, Philippines, one big family. Now the word exclusive means to exclude and there are traditions which exclude and separate us into them and us. Filipino society as a rule is more inclusive, which means there's a willingness to include and more of a desire to do so. And it doesn't take most people very long to realise this on coming here. People are what matters, um, and most Filipinos, tre uh, most Filipinos' personal treasure consists of the family and friends that they love, far more than money, property, etc. Uh, they feel happiest when surrounded by their nearest and dearest. What made me think about this the other day about the Kuya and Arte tradition was when a client said to me, thank you Kuya Jeff, to me when I complimented her on wedding pictures posted up in the Philippines to Australia Facebook group page. The message to me is, I'm your sister and you're my big brother. The same thing happens when someone younger calls my wife Artie Miller. Um, they respect her as an older sister and she treats them with kindness and caring just the same as if she were biologically related. Now I can still remember many years ago when we first settled here we actually had a client come and stay with us for a few days before her flight to Australia. Um, now don't get any ideas we don't do this regularly the down under visa B and B isn't open for business. It just worked out that way in this particular case, and it was fine. Um, one day she was out all day. She came back. Mita said to her, 
Tess, you should go to bed now. And she responded with, Yes, Artie, and went to bed. Uh, I was a little surprised at the time because I think she was about 27 at the time. Um, this is Philippines, not so unusual here. You know, if you'd said that in Australia, the person would get offended, but, you know, here what it meant was, you know, she was being caring and it was seen as being that, so no offence taken. Um, I had a wonderful experience myself many years ago when I first came here in the 90s. Yes, it was a previous girlfriend and a fairly steep learning curve. The issue was that her ninang, which is her godmother and family, basically took care of me as part of their family because, you know, that was how they related to her. Um, so therefore they related to me the same. Now she told me I was like a son to her because of the, of the relationship with the previous girlfriend. Now she and her family treated me then as one of their own and to this day we're still in contact. And I'm a, a Ninong, which is godfather, to her 17th grandchild now, so it goes on. Uh, and it, it is, it's nice, isn't it? So, yes, it, it is a sign of respect, most definitely. No kid here would ever call me Jeff. Um, in my case, most of them call me Daddy, because it just worked out that way. I have a lot of kids who call me Daddy, and therefore, you know, the nieces, nephews, etc., they also call me Daddy. Which is, which is fine, I quite like it actually. Um, but if they didn't call me that, they'd certainly find another respectful title for me. Now, what it says is I respect you, but it also says please take care of me as you would one of your own. And the right thing to do is uh, just to, to do just that in return. Be the big brother or that uncle to those who are younger than you. Be fatherly to kids and to teenagers. Let it bring out something good in you. Here's your judgment, of course. I mean, not everyone here has the best of intentions. There are those who will basically suck up to you because they're after something. So, you know, but be aware of that. You know, choose your, you know, be a little, be cautious and be a little, little selective. Um... But let a few barriers down and you, you find yourself feeling more a part of everything and less like a stranger. And it's certainly one of the better aspects of Filipino society. One of the problems in Western society is is loneliness and feeling isolated. Doesn't happen very much here. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it and you would like to subscribe, you can click on the little button down the bottom corner there and you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, there are regular articles on aspects of Australian visas to the Philippines on www.downundervisa.com.au. There is a blog page you can subscribe to. There is a free visa assessment form and there are regular articles on aspects of Australian Filipino relationships which you can see on www.filipinowives.com.au um, if you can please share these articles and these videos on any of the social media that you use we would appreciate that thank you